Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn and Clear Exams with me. The objective of today's video is that I would like to show first semester VTU MCA degree examination question paper and uh, the subject name is data structure with algorithm algorithms and the subject code is 20 MCA 11. Okay, and the scheme it is 2020 scheme. Okay, before that if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do subscribe it guys. And then uh, uh, before seeing the questions, I would like to read this note. Answer any five full questions. Choosing one full question from each module. I would like to repeat. Choosing one full question from each module. And the maximum marks you are going to write for 100 marks. And the time duration for the, uh, you know, for the exam, it is three hours. That is 180 minutes. Okay, module one. What are data structures? Explain the classification of data structures. Okay, I would like to repeat. What are data structures? Explain the classification of data structures. Uh, then uh, question number B, one uh, B that is define stack. Write a C program. One second, guys. Write a C program to implement stack operation using arrays by passing parameters. Then one C write a C program to convert infix to postfix expression. And the marks it is like this six, eight, and then six. Okay, when you calculate this, twenty marks. Okay. Uh, mo uh, module one, the second question it is uh, two A. It is convert the following infix expression into po uh, postfix expression using application uh, stack that is ten marks, and the expression is given over here. And then two B, it is implement a C program uh, for evaluating a postfix expression again. It carries for ten marks. Okay, in the module one, whichever the you know question number. Uh, for example, if you know thoroughly the part question number one, you can attend or you can go through this. Or else, if you know a second question and its uh, clause is completely you can attend this okay in uh, okay in each and every model there will be two questions whichever you know you can attend that make sure you will attend all the five models okay for uh, five models questions okay module two it is uh, 3a that is what is recursion write a program to implement uh, toh that is towers of annoy problem using recursion and trace the output for three disk okay they are asking they are asking for three disk not for the four days and uh, five days okay they are just asking for the three days Okay, uh, 3B it is what is Q? Write the algorithms for primitive operation performed on the Q. Okay, then 4A it is give the disadvantages of ordinary Q and how it is solved in a circular Q. Write a C program to implement the circular Q. Okay, in the Q you have to learn uh, very thoroughly guys like what is a Q and the difference uh, between circular Q, uh, simple Q, priority Q, DQ and advantages disadvantage and uh, do learn its program so that you know it see again they have uh, straight away they ask what are prior priority queue last year they had asked so you write a program to uh, simulate the working of priority queue then module 3 is a uh, differentiate uh, between uh, static versus dynamic memory allocation how dynamic memory allocation is done in c okay question number fifth and a 5a okay then now let's see 5b write a c program to implement the following operation on the singly linked list that is insert a node at the end of list and remove a node at the end of list okay then question number 6a it is what are the limitation of limitations of array over linked list then 6b it is uh, explain the linked implementation of stack with suitable diagram also write the algorithms to implement the stack push and pop operation using singly linked list so and then now let's see module 4 uh, 7a that is explain the various steps in the fundamentals of algorithmic uh, problem uh, solving and then uh, 7b it is list out the important problems uh, types and study of algorithm explain any two of them there will be many okay uh, explain they are asking only to explain any two of them so 8a it is uh, define algorithm explain the different asymptotic notations okay 10 marks and b okay Show that if T1 of n belongs to big O of G1 of n and T2 of n belongs to uh, big O of G2 of n, then the expression is given over here. Do check it, guys. And then module 5 it is uh, write an algorithm to sort given n elements using bubble sort and find its time efficiency. Very, very important, guys. And uh, B, 9B, it is write an algorithm to implement the uh, brute force string matching process and apply the same for the given input, the input is, which is given over here. Okay. And then 10 a it is like write an algorithm for selection sort and analyze it. Okay. And write DFS graph travels. Uh, okay. Sorry. Travels algorithm and write a trace for the following graph. Okay. The graph is given over here. You can take the screenshot. Okay. This is the total objective of today's video. Try to download at least five to uh, six year question paper and do analyze it and try to solve it. Okay. And do uh, really well in your examination so that you will pass and then you will get good marks. Okay. Okay. See you all. Let's meet in next upcoming videos.